So in this video, we're going to be talking about the Buffalo Bills and why they can beat anyone despite being 11-3 and three with a three-game lead in the division. I feel as if this team can get much better, and I'm going to explain why. But before I get into the video, if you guys are a fan of the NFL, you've come to the right place. My name is Swaggy, and I upload one to two videos every single day. I haven't had too much luck making Bills videos, so if you guys could hit the like button for the algorithm, get this out to more fans. I'd love to hear what you have to say about your team. I've been talking a lot of Chiefs and 49ers, Chargers. I'm trying to show love to the Bills who were the favorites for the Super Bowl coming into the season. It's easy to see why when you have Josh Allen on your roster. As I mentioned, this team has an 11-3 and record. They have never won less than 10 games besides 2018 in Allen's rookie year. Since then, 10-13 to every season. This season, they're on pace for that again. Against the Dolphins, Allen looked like a man possessed, especially in the fourth quarter. Down their starting center, their best lineman. Allen, he put the team on his back. Had a big 50-plus yard run, two-point conversion, leaps in, gets that, bailed out the defense. Honestly, there were some turnovers, inexcusable turnovers. Allen, he finished the game with four touchdowns, 304 yards, 62.5 completion percentage, and the win over the Dolphins. Now, the thing for the Bills is their defense against the run has been a problem since week nine. Their secondary is pretty good. White is not the player that we remember him as, but he certainly will get there. I, he showed plays in this game that has me thinking that he's definitely going to get back to his old self, but he also had some some difficult plays. I mean, when you're going up against Jalen Waddle, it makes sense, right? I mean, I don't know many people on the planet that can one-on-one -on -one follow Jalen Waddle around. White was doing that coming off of a major injury, so give credit to that. Kyrie Elam, first-round rookie. I remember when the Bills drafted him, I was thinking, are they going to go Brees Hall? They ended up taking a corner, a bigger, faster corner. He showed up in this game. He's going to be big for them moving forward because I'm looking at the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm looking at the Kansas City Chiefs and these teams and the way that they can pass the football. You need to have a secondary. And I'm not trying to hate on the Bills, right? This is a team that has as much talent as anyone in the league. They actually might be the best team in the league if we're going off of just overall talent. But their last couple of games, right? I'm looking at the Patriots. I'm looking at the Miami Dolphins and, you know, the Jets. I mean, the, like the Dolphins have a great offense, but it's only going to get better moving forward, right? I'm looking at a deep playoff run in every single game. Buy or not, you're going to have to go through Burrow and you're going to have to go through Patrick Mahomes. So this defense is certainly going to have to step up, offensively speaking. You can't complain. I don't have any complaints. I mean, Devin Singletary is, he's done what he's supposed to ever since he's been drafted here by the Bills. Josh Allen, you have to equate for his rushing ability, his big arm, which means that Singletary is going to get a lot more opportunities because teams aren't focused on him, right? Also, Stephon Diggs, he made big plays in this game. He's been the most consistent weapon, of course, for the Bills. He might be the most consistent weapon in this league, if I'm being honest with you. Him and Devontae Adams, for sure, coming to my mind. D-Hop, all these guys. The offensive line, being without your guys' starting center, the best lineman that you have in Morse, I don't know how that's going to go. He's also dealt with concussions in the past. This is not good news for Buffalo Bills fans. Hopefully he can get healthy because I want to see a fully healthy Bills and a fully healthy Chiefs team, or at least as close as we can to it. These teams, whenever they get together, it's must-see TV. The best game of the year. Last season was the playoffs Bills against the Chiefs, at least in my opinion. This season, when these two teams met, it came down to a field goal. So, But moving forward outside of that, there was another young player who really came to my mind in this game, and it was Khalil Shakir. Now, he's mostly used as a blocker. I mean, the Bills, they, they ran the ball 62% of the time when he was on the field. When he was off, they threw it for 67%. Cole Beasley, remember, he came out of retirement and joined the Bills. He was with the Bucks, and then he, I guess he retired, and I'd retire too if I went to the Bucks with how bad they look. Comes to the Bills, and still, I mean, he only played 11 snaps, right? Shakir played 21. McKenzie ended up playing 46. So if they can get him more involved and keep running the football, the Bills' offense is only going to get better, which is scary that this offense can only improve. And also, Dane Jackson, he hasn't exactly been the greatest. So that's why 
Kair Elam is getting more opportunities. He almost had a pick late in this game. On that third and 12, he came up big. He's just a big physical corner. I haven't watched too much of him, but I remember him in college, and a lot of people were high on this guy. So I'm not surprised the Bills ended up taking him. Him and White is going to be a problem for opposing offenses, throwing the football. Of course, the Bills have two stud safeties, so... The thing for the Bills, though, if you're going to get anything from this video, it's that they need to get the one seed because they have potentially the most dangerous home field in football. Not only is it extremely cold in Buffalo, as we just saw with the snow, too, in, in the game against Miami, it's very loud. And it also means that you don't have to go into Arrowhead, for example. The Bills have to get over the hump of the Chiefs. I know you're not just thinking about the Chiefs, but eventually you guys are going to meet the Chiefs. Unless the Chiefs run into the Bengals before the Bills, which is certainly a possibility with how the Bengals have played them, but eventually the Bengals are going to have to get over that hump, and to me it's going to come down to home field. Because last season, you guys beat the Chiefs, lost them in the playoffs. This season, you beat, beat the Chiefs, you can still lose to them in the playoffs. So getting home field is going to be absolutely critical for this Buffalo Bills team, and... They have as much firepower as anyone in the league. Their run defense since week nine, as I said, has definitely regressed, but it's still not a problem, right? I'm not gonna write off the Bills because of their run defense. It's not that much of a concern. And then their secondary is good, right? They have a good secondary. Once Tredavious White gets back to his full form, it will be the secondary that, right, maybe the best secondary outside of the Jets in the league. So I'm looking at Buffalo and They've beaten the Browns, Lions, Pats, Jets, Dolphins. Can this team get to the next level against teams the rest of the year? And to me, Josh Allen is going to have to play the main role for that because even though there are some holes on the Bills team, Josh Allen makes up for them because of his ability to do everything. I mean, this is a guy who can rush for 50 plus yards like it's nothing. He can throw for over 300. He's just honestly unstoppable. And with his size and strength, he's just tough to bring down. Like it doesn't matter if you're a, if you're the biggest guy on defense. I mean, you need help bringing down Josh Allen. It takes an entire team to do so. So if you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor by smashing the like button, subscribe if you're new. I haven't made a Bills video in like months. So if I miss anything, please let me know down below in the comments. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys out there, man. Good luck the rest of the season. Buffalo is a team that I do root for. I haven't made many videos, but still, I live in Connecticut. So the Bills, I mean, I know they're over in Buffalo, you know, uh, Western New York or whatever. But at the end of the day, I like good football. And whenever I watch the Bills play, they certainly play good level football. Peace out, guys. Later.